So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides any visual input, I'm going to call a diagram question. So we see what we have here is more specifically a table. So our table uh, represents the population of Greenleaf, Idaho. Looks like we have the population in the year 2000 at 862 and the population in the year 2010 at 846. So the question goes on to say the table above shows the population of Greenleaf, Idaho for the years 2000 and 2010. If the relationship between population and year is linear, so that's a hint. Every time I see that word, I immediately write down y equals mx plus b, right? That's our uh, equation for a line. Which of the following functions p models the population of Greenleaf t years after 2000? So if p is the population, and t is the number of years, or time, we want to convert this format here into something that's going to make more sense for this particular question. And we can see even from the answer choices, right? Instead of y, we're going to have p of t, right? The population as a function of time. I'm going to still have equals m, but instead of x, right, it's as a function of time, right? So it'll be mt instead of mx. And I should still consider that there's a y-intercept, right? So I still have my b there. Now, with that, I can now convert the information from the table into a set of ordered pairs, right? Because I know that I have t comma p, basically. So in the year 2000... Now, T is years after 2000, right? So uh, T in the year 2000 would be zero because the year 2000 is zero years beyond the year 2000. So this 2000 becomes a zero, but in year zero, the population is 862. And then in year 10, right, 10 years past 2000 or 2010, the population is 846. So I can take this information to solve for my slope. Um, so I can call this like a x1 and a y1 and a x2 and a y2. I find slope by finding the difference in y, so y2 minus y1, over the difference in x, so x2 minus x1. And what I get from that is 846 minus 862 over 10 minus 0. And that is going to be negative 19, negative 16, sorry, negative 16 over positive 10, and that equals negative 1.6. So my m is equal to negative 1.6. So I can go back and say, well, that means p of t is equal to negative 1.6 times t plus b. Well, what is b? B is the y-intercept, right? So the y-intercept is always going to be the y value when x is 0. And we know that. We know that from here, right? So when x is 0, our y value is 862. So that means that B, right? So this tells us that B is equal to 862. So again, now I have P of T equals negative 1.6 T plus 862. And that's my equation. So which, which of the answer choices matches that? It looks like we have the 862 out in front, but otherwise, this is answer choice A, right? We just have the reverse, right? So 862 is what we have, so that's positive. And then negative 1.6t is also what we have. None of the other answer choices have, have that. So A is the best answer here.